the Conversion Pros review, updated review for 2023 going into 2024. Anyways, are these guys um, that own and run the Conversion Pros, are they the same exact guys um, behind that horrible cash effect scam that stole billions of dollars from unsuspecting victims? Anyways, all of that and more coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel. Please find the big red button, subscribe, and also click on the bell notification icon. That way you won't miss out on any important info. Uh, also, at any time throughout watching this video, if you're looking for a legitimate system and company, an opportunity that can help you create a full-time income online, get access to my number one recommended opportunity and company underneath this video. First link below this video. Second link uh, is to a traffic system. If you are looking for traffic, if you're promoting affiliate marketing and network marketing business opportunities online, get access to highly converting tier one traffic. Second link underneath this video. Okay. So without further ado, let's get into it. Conversion Pros, the website is called conversionpros.com. Are these guys uh, the main guys behind the cash effect scam that stole billions of dollars from crypto and forex investors? That's what we're going to talk about here today. Well, it doesn't look good. Okay, I'll include a link to this uh, blog review of the Conversion Pros as well underneath this video. Just click the more button to get access. Now, I looked into the Conversion Pros. I had experience with it about five years ago someone that i knew shared their link with me and they said hey they got tools they got training they got good income potential i looked into it i don't want to go through all of this i'm going to be here too long and it turned out that yes they they very well indeed uh had great tools training and income potential but i didn't want to use them as an income vehicle i just wanted to use their excellent lead capture page system to um you know get leads for my own business opportunity that opportunities that I was already involved in and you couldn't seem to do that back then with the conversion pros and based on my understanding it's still the same way now you can just use the conversion pros um, tools and lead capture pages of course you can use their training for anything but the lead capture pages seem to just be rerouting back into the conversion pro opportunity if i got that information wrong let me know in the comments below for any of you uh, who are affiliates with the conversion pros now what i don't like about this is there's a lot of good people promoting the conversion pros okay but the thing is be the people behind the conversion pros seem to be pretty sketchy based on my findings here today um now their website, theconversionpros.com, privately registered, created back in 2015, September 1st, set to expire in 2024. They do have Cloudflare DDoS protection enabled. 2,945 days old. Uh, traffic, according to similar web, seem to have gone up, but then have, you know, declined a lot towards the end of 2023. Top countries currently uh two conversionpros.com number one us number two united kingdom number three canada number four nigeria number five spain uh conversion pros are headed up by three main guys ron pope who calls himself um on linkedin as um ceo of conversion pros as you guys could see in this video uh, sorry, image in the image above. Then there's David Dubbs, chief marketing officer of the Conversion Pros, and uh, a guy who claims he loves haters, okay? Uh, made his name in a bunch of different companies, MLM and affiliate marketing companies, got into the spots like Top Recruiter, Diamond Level, etc. Very successful fellow, okay? Um, currently, Dubbs is... I think he's co-founder or founder, I believe it's co-founder of a system called We Got Friends currently. Uh, then there's Galron who calls himself CEO of Conversion Pros as well as founder of a bunch of other collapsed, uh, what looks like crypto systems, okay? 
I can't find any direct information on Galeron actually being linked to CFX. Maybe there's some out there, um, but I haven't found it yet. Okay, but the other two guys, these two main guys seem to be, uh, were heavily promoting CFX in the past. Okay, um, now the CFX scam, it was an awful Forex scam that milked billions of dollars worth of crypto from passive income people over a few years. They got over 20 something fraud warnings from securities regulators worldwide and people still, you know, said, ah, we don't worry about that. And they still handed over their hard earned money. Of course they were paying out in the beginning, but I think they haven't paid out much or anything since the end of 2021. It was referred to as the lifestyle design business and investors were promised crazy uh, returns from 200 to 400%. I know who the heck would believe that. Of course, they were paying out in the beginning, but to get your uh, full payout, that's usually when you end up in problems with these Ponzi schemes, okay? It was headed up by, well, the main guy was Oscar Lopez. Uh, last seen in, in a picture I found uh, online claiming that he was like out um, trekking around the Himalayas, okay? And he always called it the Lifestyle Design Company. He called himself like co-founder and CEO. Right. Uh, other people said, hey, he was hiding out in Dominican Republic. And then others said, oh, he's out in Dubai. Um, not sure where he is right now. Hasn't been seen since 2021 because a lot of people are looking for this fellow. He even set up an office uh, in Panama. And I saw that video um, a while back. But anyways, uh, then we'll get into the expert uh, master traders. Right. These guys uh, were being paraded on stage by Oscar, and he was claiming that this was the expert trading team um, responsible for creating up to 400% ROI for the passive income enthusiasts. Okay, uh, Unfortunately, uh, the whole team here turned out to be, well, they got exposed. I can't remember who exposed them, but somebody did expose them as taxi cab drivers and construction workers who are still at their jobs even up to now and that got me thinking i'm thinking like if these guys still have to keep their day job how could they truly be expert traders and master traders right um but people heard in meaning investors and they still handed over their hard-earned money to the scammers saying hey that's that's unimportant then I found an article, according to an article that I read on Fintelegram, they were warning people, the Spanish regulator, CNMV, has issued an investor warning against CFX, the CFX group, MLM scheme, website is allegedly operated by Conversion Pros, Inc., with an address in Panama. Okay, so Conversion Pros, Inc., uh, on the website, on the conversionpros.com, they have a Nevada address. Um, now, Panama, CFX had, based on my research in the past, they had an office in Panama. Maybe that's what they meant. Anyways, the CFX group describes itself as a trading academy company combined with Forex on its LinkedIn page to 144 employees, blah, blah, blah. CFX, LinkedIn does not have a license in any regulatory regime. Stay away from this MLM scheme. Conversion Pros Inc. also operates an interest, an intranet affiliate system on the conversionpros.com. The company is registered in Nevada, United States. They evidently use their tools to operate MLM schemes like the CFX group. <coughs> well, on the front end, I believe they're just focused on getting more people into the Conversion Pros deal. Maybe on the back end, they're like, hey, affiliates. Check out our Ponzi schemes. Based on what I'm seeing here, maybe that could be what, is hap what has happened in the past and maybe is silently happening up to now. Then another uh, website, Ponzi Pricks. The Ponzi Pricks. Dot, oh no, PonziPricks.com. Uh, they're claiming you can just click on these links and it'll open up to the websites like Fintelegram, Ponzi Pricks, etc. Well, anyway, Ponzi Pricks says the Spanish regulator CNB is issued investor. Nope, that's not what I found. 
Just hold on for one sec. All right, sorry about that. A little technical difficulty there. I, I, I changed it. Okay, I just had to make a couple a little change here. So according to Ponzi Pricks, okay, the Conversion Pros, the IT company behind the CFX Ponzi scheme. Under Ron Pope's leadership, Conversion Pros built the website for CFX Group, which is now a collapsing Ponzi scheme. Conversion Pros also handled all of the technical problems Cash Forex Group encounters. The main issue CFX members have now is their inability to receive payouts after making a withdrawal request. As the owner of Conversion Pros, Ron Pope has been responsible for the payment withdrawal issues plaguing CFX since early February 2021. Okay. Here you can see Pope conducting a marketing video on CFX calling himself CEO. Right down here it says CEO on the title. Then above on LinkedIn, he's calling himself president. Is he is he president or, or um, CEO? Very confusing. Then it says CFX co-founder here, right? Then uh, Hoskar is co-founder. And then um, sometimes I even see in other places he's calling himself or other people calling himself CEO uh, of CFX. Okay. Well, based on my findings in the past, Hoskar, Hoskar was the CEO, okay. I don't know if things have changed, uh, but that is what I knew from the past research that I did. Um, then there's dubs, okay, so another marketing video on dubs, and there's lots of them on YouTube. I would say you guys go out and do your own uh, research uh, to find this out. Um, here you can see in this image that I've taken off of YouTube, uh, David Dubs, um, in another marketing video, CFX Marketing Walkthrough Q&A. Now let's get to a conclusion. Conversion pros. I don't recommend them. In the past, yeah, if, when I, I didn't know they were linked to CFX. Uh, but now that I do, for sure, based on all the information, it seems widely available online. that You guys can go and check for yourself. Also, there's no privacy issues here on YouTube. i got to say that. Um, I don't recommend them. Okay, they got good products, they got a good system, they got good lead capture pages. But at the end of the day, um, if they can bilk and milk, you know, tons of people out of billions of dollars worth of crypto collectively from these victims, from these investors who really, really wanted to make lots and lots of money with the lifestyle design company. That means they couldn't be trusted if they already scammed people. So I would say these guys are, seem to be the main guys uh, who were hooked up with Oscar Lopez with CFX. And they seem to be the main guys of the conversion pro. So I don't recommend them. I would say they can't be trusted. These are based on my findings. And uh, this is just common sense for me. Okay, I don't recommend their system. Uh, hopefully enjoyed this conversion pro um, review as well as a cash effects update. Another thing that I'm thinking about is seems like all the main guys except for Oscar are uh, like American and Canadian nationals. That's something else to think about American and Canadian nationals. Okay. Anyways, uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, click on the bell notification icon also please like and share this video uh, lastly if you are looking for a legitimate way and a uh, opportunity set up for the long term get access to my number one recommended opportunity underneath this video first link uh, below click the more button to get access and for those of you uh, who are promoting stuff get access to traffic second link make a long story short i used to be a trucker i started this very uh, youtube channel at my job when i was driving truck uh, that's not a truck I drove, that's just a pickup truck behind me. But there was a tractor trailer uh, yard in Ontario, Canada, 18 wheelers, etc. And um, I came online, plugged into some training and the system, and then lo and behold, uh, followed the training, started seeing some income here and there, and then eventually I started getting really consistent with the training and uh, started seeing sizable income. Eventually, I replaced my income online. 
and uh, I used to work up to 80 hours per week, 70, 80 hours, sometimes 60 hours per week, always away from my home. Got fed up with that lifestyle. Now I'm on the internet, only have to work a few hours per day. Sometimes I work two hours, sometimes I work four hours. Some days I work no hours. That's what it is online. You get paid for your results if you can transition into a successful entrepreneur. So you get access to my number one recommended program underneath this video, first link below. Anyways, guys, I will see you on the next one. Take care.